The flip along function is one of the most confusing for newcomers to sketch up, but it's a feature that's hard to avoid in woodworking because we continually flip or mirror components in our furniture. There is a choice to make every time you use flip along function. Do you flip along the red, green, or blue axis? It's not always clear which one to choose. I'll use this kitchen stool in demonstrating how the flip along works. There are only three components here and two of them need to be flipped into position. This skirt component is duplicated in front and back positions and the angled sides are also duplicate components but they need to be flipped to be positioned properly. You can avoid much of the confusion about flipping by creating components in their actual position within the model. So this would be the best way to start the creation of the model and its components, that is, in the context of their actual positions. Here you see the side component that was created just in that position, and I'm showing I don't normally show the component axes while modeling, but in this case I've turned that feature on. And you can see the actual axis lineup. As the flip along function is executed on the components axis, which is based on its orientation when first created, this component can now be convenient, conveniently flipped on the axis of movement that it is copied. So I copied it along the red axis and I flipped it along the red axis. Then it's easy to bring this back into its position at the corner and I've got a perfect match on the other side of the, of the stool. Also, in case of the front skirt, we can copy it on the green axis and flip it on the green axis, bring it back into its position at the rear of the stool, and it will be mirrored in the proper orientation. Now let's assume, however, that the original side component is created independently outside the context of its position in the assembly. Let me move over to this next view, next screen. And as you can see here, we've got the skirt in its position the way it was normally, but the side component is now created apart from the skirt and separate from its real position in, in the context of the model. So we need to rotate the, this, the side 90 degrees and connect it to the front skirt at the corner but as you can see here we we've got to rotate to match up with the splay of the side to do this I'll use the rotate tool and move this corner to match up with the position of the snap on that corner. Now I've got the side lined up with the angle of the skirt. And if I attempt a a flip along, copying the component along the red axis, right clicking, pick flip along, and flip along the red axis 
nothing happens. Well, it flips, but it flips along the axis of the component, which was created out of context, so it doesn't provide the proper positioning that we want. You can see the component axis as shown down here in the corner. That won't give us the, the proper flip. There is a workaround, however, and let me explain how that works. If you combine more than one component in the flip, so we'll do both of these components in the flip, then the SketchUp default is that the flip along works along the movement. So I've copied them along the red axis and I flip them along the red axis and achieve the proper orientation. But now I've got two skirts and I can delete the skirt and move the copied side into its proper position. So that workaround works. Now coming back to the original design process of making components in the context of their position in the model. You can see here that I've got the side component built on the model axis. So there is a bounding box that is on the red, green, and blue axes. Often on angled components, late in my design process, I like to modify the component axes so the bounding box lines up with the actual board's edges. This makes the dimensioning easier and also provides an accurate cut list. To help create the modified alignment of the axes, I use the protractor to make a perpendicular guideline to the component's edge. Then I right click on the component to select change axes and position the origin on the corner and align the red axis with the guideline. And then the green axis with the other edge and then the blue works out just perfectly to line up the bounding box with the piece of lumber and that helps in the dimensioning particularly uh, but it creates the problem that we found just a while ago that flip along doesn't work intuitively so if I try to copy this on the red axis and do the flip along I don't get the desired result. So again, we can go to the, the backup capability in SketchUp to combine two components or more components and select the combination and flip the combination intuitively along its direction of movement which was the red axis, delete the skirt and pull the side back into its proper position. So this, this works as well.